We got two very special guests today, Aaron Grimes and Damian Williams. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, man? Thank you all for your time and coming through today. They are with Falcons Youth Football. We'll get into that in just a little bit, but let's tell the people a little bit about yourselves. You guys are born and bred here in the, in the city, right? We are um, born here, uh, raised in the uh, Northeast Denver Park Hill community, okay. um, been involved with uh, youth sports uh, for since 2001. I've been coaching in some capacity and just uh, giving back to our area of Grow and where we grew up at. We actually played together years ago. I was going to ask, were y'all former athletes? Y'all played, right? You got to have a love for this in some way. Oh, yeah. We played uh, – Early 80s. Yep, early 80s. And then what, what, what kind of brought us back and kind of got us back a relationship, kids playing and things of that sort. But then as we begin to stretch out into some of our programming, um, some of his skill sets uh, in his current life, like he was speaking earlier about cameras and different things like that, cooking. So then we started to build on other levels on how to contribute and give back to the organization we once played for. I love that. Okay, give us a little bit about your background. Um... Like I was born, um, I was raised on the east side, moved to Park Hill, and that's where I started playing football, played football and basketball. Went to Montbello. Okay. Um, graduated from there, and I started coaching. Well, my first coaching started with basketball. Um, we've been around since uh, 1958. Uh, we we're incorporated in 1988. Uh, the former president, which was my mother, Gerald Grimes, she ran the program. She volunteered back in the early uh, mid 70s and then uh, uh, helped run the program and was a part of uh, many other things throughout that time span. But upon her passing, um, we still wanted to keep pouring into that same community and start to reach out in other areas, and we yeah. started to do more outreach programs added to our sports programs, and that's what uh, stage we're on now is kind of making sure we can encompass everything with the youth, so not just the sports, but also pour into the family and to the child. That's important. Love so, that. So, yeah, you guys obviously are a, a sports organization, but like you said, it's more than just – playing sports together. Definitely. And so what are some of the things that you do to pour into the families and the kids? Um, so some of the things that we, we've actually started in some of the programs. So one is mental health is big in the urban community. Yeah. Um, so it's reaching out and trying to give different outlets through holistic uh, partnerships. So we've partnered with a few different programs to help to give back to our uh, community and give them a little more resources. One of our partners is with the Colorado Health Foundation. And what they assist us with is just being a get out in the community, provide different resources, throw different uh, events that is about mental health, health, mental health awareness, uh, personal wellness, and we just try to just provide resources. And then we have another partner that we just partnered with, the Governor's Emergency Education Relief Fund, gear that's a lot of words nice. um but they're kind of in that same capacity right giving us the opportunity to have the resources to give back to our families and communities through different outreaches and programs so we have uh, you know of course you have violence right so we yeah. have to have programming and, and resources for that but then on other capacities we want to give back resources like education so we um me and damien we have a cooking program that comes through GG Spirit. So in our past president's passing, we thought it would be best to honor and build on that to make sure we have capacity and also give back to the kids. So we started a job program with that. Instead of just fundraising, we're able to go out to various community events, take our food trailer, Love teach it. those kids food handling and all those different things in the food uh, uh uh, space, but then also get them out and teaching people skills, communication skills, and all the things that come with that with networking and being in different environments. 
So you you mentioned really uh, violence prevention. Correct. And I want to know if you can talk a little bit more about that. What does that mean to you, and what does it look like through this, a sports lens? Mm-hmm. So that that that's what's odd. We found that in all these years of coaching that a lot of our families experience some form of violence, even my own. And when we we're in that 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 space, it's the resources, right? They need mm-hmm. to be here to bury their family. They need to have that food train. But also, these kids need to learn violence prevention. So we have different mentors. We have a boys program. We're going on uh, August 12th, taking uh, young men up to the mountains and just talking to them about rites of passage and teaching them people skills and teaching them how to handle their temperaments, their mm-hmm. environment, and all the different things they're encounter. But we also have to do that here. So when we're right here on the field, it's teaching them honor, respect, how to think about their community as a safe space mm-hmm. and not just somewhere that – you know, they just encounter problems. And then we also get them to resources like counselors and different things like that so they can begin to explore their inner self and talk to people and get out what they need to and realize, you know, maybe if they do need help to find out the ways to answer it. I love that initiative. Thank you for for your work and pouring into our youth in that manner. So with that said, when it comes to the parents and the programs, if they're, you know, in these sports programs and what you guys are providing for them, Give us a, a story or two or uh, some feedback that you've gotten from the parents for success and how what you guys are doing is really helping. Um, you know, that that's kind of the, the best part is when our kids go off to high school and also college and things of that yeah. sort. They reach back to us and those parents give us those accolades of appreciation and how they wouldn't be here. Graduation season, of course, just passed. We had a lot of athletes who have gone on to the next level of high school. But also we have a lot of kids that continue to go, to, I mean, to college. We have a lot of kids who are now continuing to go to high school. So the parents talk about some of the uh, directions their kids were going in and now how, the, you know, through sports and through some of our mentoring and involvement with their kids that they're, you know, gone on a different path. Of course, you lose some. Sure. And those parents, you know, reach out for you for the resources that keep their kids engaged and try to right the wrongs. But we also do get those success stories. Uh, and we just went through a period of that of a lot of our kids uh, going on to college. Oh, I love that. Okay, I want to ask both of you this. I'm going to start with you, Damien, with this question. What does it mean for you to be able to give to these kids in this space, being that you came up in this community and the challenges that they face? I know it's a different time now, but challenges are challenges, especially if you're of color. As you know, So what does it feel like, and what does it mean to you to be able to do what you're doing? I love what I do um, because – when I was younger, I mean, I wasn't the best kid. I took something from society, and it's my time to give it back. So <clears throat> it's an honor for me to teach a child something and then watch them learn that, take it, and make it their own and become whoever they're going to become. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing that with my daughter right now. I'm a single father. Um, she's going to be a senior, but she's playing basketball. She didn't start to the sixth grade. And just going on that journey with her, seeing that is something that you can't explain. Right. And just seeing other kids experience that that may not have a father or may not have that mother in their life. And if you can be that for them, it's just, it's it's a just win. an awesome feeling. Yeah. Would you like to expand on that? Um. Yeah, I think that's a big part of it. Fortunately, coming from uh, my, my family, both my father and my mother um, believed in community. My grandparents, my brother, uh, Troy Grimes, who's uh, also our president, he has a great foundation, Legacy Foundation. And we're able to just to see and pour back into our community and see a lot of those kids and what we actually are starting to create. I think for me, it's really became more recent that I've looked and kind of wanted to smell the flowers, so mm. to speak. I just head down, do the work. But, you know, we I'm getting to a point now where I have been able to glimpse a little bit and see that what we're doing is helping and affecting in the right way. Originally, you're just doing it to get, you know, because it's a need. You're not doing it for just a doing it to do back. It. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then now you look back and it's like, man, you know. You've done some work. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Um, I'm curious, do, so do the youth rec- recognize or realize all the things that are involved like maybe they go there because they want to play football but then there's a lot more to it than that and do you ever encounter any resistance 
Um, I think that's where we're at now, right, is making sure, and even with you guys allowing us to come in, we appreciate it, to get our message out there. Because we've been around so long, we were just looked at as a sports program, mm-hmm. and we just did a lot of the work within the organization. We didn't really advertise what parents we were supporting or helping in what ways. We realize now it's time to echo our, our efforts and get that stuff out so that we can have a more broader conversation because sometimes people do come to us and say, I didn't know. Or I didn't yeah. know, Coach, I can come ask you these things. And then that's also your peers, your friends. And it's other kids. It's like, yeah, we, we want to compete in sports, but we're still from this community, so yeah. we want to be of service. So, um, yes, we, we have encountered, uh, not, I wouldn't say resistance, but just lack of knowledge and awareness that we also accompany these things within our uh, foundation. Love to hear that. Now, I know you guys have a lot going on. I want you guys to laundry list because there's, there's a kids retreat coming up and uh, a movie night, all of that. So give the people the details and then we'll let people, how, you know, give them the information on how they can contact you guys. Um, so, yes, we got a few things coming up. We have our uh, pop-up movie night, which is this Saturday on 17th in Syracuse. Movie will start at uh, dusk. We'll be streaming uh, Garfield. Nice. That's on uh, 17th in Syracuse at McNichols Park. Um, we have another pop-up where it's a uh, uh, – so what we did, we partnered with, like we said, that governor's group gear, and they're about getting, you know, the community out and involved with stuff. So we came up with a couple of different events to uh, get everybody out there. One of them is the movie. We have another pop-up where it's kind of like a refill. We'll have different uh, yoga, massage therapists, different stuff like that to the community to come out and let the parents and the kids kind of just relax and get some of that treatment that they might not – where we get the dancers and the cheerleaders and all that part of that community out. Very We're cool. going to do a talent show, that one. So that's the 27th for the uh, refill. That is the 10th for the uh, pop-up talent show. And then we also have a back-to-school backpack giveaway, which is August 17th, which um, we'll be giving out books, free haircuts. Um, we'll be doing backpack giveaways and things of that stuff for the kid, little merch bags and uh, little kid DJ and make it fun, jumpy houses, food, things of that sort. And then we're out there right now at uh, camp. So we're out there uh, this month of July doing our sports stuff, our football, our cheerleading. And then we also have a food trailer, which we went out and what we're doing with that program is just getting out in the community. It's a, a way to raise funds for these. You know, our, our community doesn't always have some of the resources, financial that is. So we want to find a way to make our own way. And that's a part of us getting out there and teaching a skill at the same time, raising awareness and funds. And then we also have our, uh, we have a, a, next year we're doing a fundraiser for a uh, cruise. We're going to take all our teams out. I want to go. We're going to go, yeah, on a cruise and kind of just get out there. So we're just trying to get our, our community out, get them out of their space and just expose them to stuff on the field, but also uh, within community. So we got a lot of things going on, and we love uh, the community come out, get involved, see what we offer, not just for sports, but with outreach. It's amazing what you guys are doing. Thank you for again for your services. I love what you the organization doing. Two last questions before we get out of here. Are you always looking for volunteers as you need help? And then uh, also give them the information. If it's a telephone number, website, so they can get all Definitely. of this information. Um, that's the biggest thing. We always need volunteers. You can't uh, – Never, uh, you know, uh, get enough of the people to pour into these kids. Mm -hmm. And then as far as uh, getting involved, you can go definitely reach out 720-496-3234. That is my uh, direct contact um, and can get you the information. But we also, through our website, which is uh, www Falcons Youth Organization, uh, Denver Sports Engine.com. That's a lot of words, but that's Falcons Youth Organization, Denver Sports Engine.com. And you can uh, find us on the internet. You can find us on social media and all those different uh, outlets as well. Good stuff, man. Thank you all again for y'all's service, making the time to come here. And, again, if you, you have a question you want us to give you that info, you can hit us up at 303-893-3767. Aaron Grimes, Damian Williams, I appreciate your time. And shout out to homie Fo too. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me. <laughs> appreciate him. Much love. It's Community Corner, Sugar Bear Lamale, 104.7 The Drive.